Hi, I'm David and I'm from Canada, the land of the beaver. But now I live in China, the land of the panda. I love this little guy. Today is a very, very important day for me in China because today I am going to Sung Tai. Sung Tai in Cantonese means to look at each other. In Mandarin we say Xiang Qin, which basically means to date. Now, in China, as soon as you turn 25 years old or so, your elders will consider you to be old, or at least old enough where you should definitely be Sung Taiing. They might even arrange for you to meet with a girl that you've never seen of or heard of before. And if you see eye to eye, then you can officially start to date. Now, for this special occasion today, I've prepared a nice, fresh bouquet of flowers, and I've decided to wear something a little bit more formal than usual. Actually, in China, it doesn't get much more formal than this. Wow, she is beautiful. I like her, but I've got to play it cool. In China, you should never wear your heart on your sleeve. Chinese people are a little bit more reserved, so I think just a nice smile will do. Did you hear that? I think she likes me. What I'm wearing here is often referred to as a Mao suit in the West because Chairman Mao loved to wear this kind of suit, hence the name Mao suit. But in China, it's not called a Mao suit. It's named after another historical figure. It's called a Zhongshan suit. So why is this called a Zhongshan suit in China? There are many explanations for the origins of the Zhongshan suit. The more popular one being that over a hundred years ago, Sun Zhongshan combined Japanese school uniforms with Chinese fashion style in order to create a suit with this kind of pocket flap. But don't for one second underestimate this outfit. It was not just a form of fashion. Chinese people never do things just for the sake of doing them. Although Sun Zhongshan never did explain its meaning, descendants did read a lot from it. For example, the stitching on the back never ceases, representing a united China. And these four pockets, well, they represent propriety, righteousness, honesty, and a sense of shame. Four very important traditional Chinese virtues. And these pocket flaps, well, do they look anything like what I'm holding here? This is a pen rack meant for holding writing brushes. So this design actually represents valuing knowledge and education. This is a modern yet classic man. And now the modern streets of Guangzhou look like those of almost any major city in the world. It comes with being a global village. And you won't be seeing anybody wearing this kind of suit anymore. But if you do, they're probably on their way off to a meeting somewhere. Like when APEC was held in Beijing in 2014, all of the world leaders were wearing this kind of suit. You could see it as a kind of modernization of this traditional style. The times are changing. And so is fashion. But there are some things deep inside that will never change. And in every new trend, you can always find some hints of the past. I'm David, see you next time.